Well, here we are departing uh, Cross Village. Some beautiful waters, glass smooth. There's the port of Cross Village. Heading out to Skigley Island. And uh, it used to be, it was named by the French, Ile Ole, no, Ile Ole Island. And uh, we're just gonna cruise across this glass smooth water for about seven miles to a pile of gravel with a lighthouse on it. So in, uh, in the 1850s, shipping uh, on the Great Lakes started to uh, really uh, come about and uh, started to really increase. In this area here, the Wagashans Point area, just off from Cross Village, was a uh, it was a dangerous place. A lot of gravel bars, a lot of uh, uh, Gray's Reef is there, White Shoal, and uh, so they had to do something about it. So they uh, Look at all the bugs. So they um, they started building lighthouses around the 1880s, up until the 18 around the 1880s. And uh, the one that we're going to was on a gravel bar that uh, is really hard to see. And there was a shipwreck there, and I forget the name of it, but I'll post it on the video uh, later in the subtitle. But uh, that ship wrecked, and they finally made a decision to put a lighthouse here. And uh, all that's left now is the light tower for uh, Skiggly Light, and. Uh, and that's what we're gonna go check out if uh, if we can make it through all the bugs. I forget the name of these uh, these bugs that come out in the spring. Midge flies, that's what they're called. Midge flies. I can't, I can't think of their name right now, but they uh, they basically come out for a few days, reproduce like crazy, and they swarm like crazy, and then they just die off, and that's it. So the bugs don't bite like mosquitoes at all. They just they don't bite. They just land on you, and you think they're mosquitoes, but they're not. But you can see them on the. Hanging out in the boat, getting a ride out to the island. Apparently I'm some kind of fly. Fly ferry. I provide public transportation for the bugs. We're doing a uh, Skilligly Island, uh, Skilligly Island run right now. I don't know if you can see over there, uh, uh, you probably can't, but Beaver Island's over there. Way over there is Gray's Reef. Wagashans is probably off the point over there. Pretty lonely out here. Perfect place to be social distancing, if you know what I mean. 
So we have to be careful in this area with any kind of boat. Our boat's probably just fine, but uh, we're kind of uh, coming up on a shoal now and we don't want to uh, be surprised by a gravelly bottom and in fact. So we're seven miles out from shore and you can see the bottom at this point. So we might actually be able to see a shipwreck if we behave ourselves. So uh, I don't know if you can see it yet, but uh, right up there is Skid Reef, all lonely. We're looking to the west as the sun starts to move down to the horizon. Let's go check it out. See the old rails where they brought in the boats. I got a lanyard. <laughs> I get this. So here we are, Skilligalee Island, Ilogale, that's the French name, there's our horse Thor, she's uh, actually grounded right there, so um, we got her tied off to a, to a winch, used to be, I'm not sure if it used to be buried right there or what, I, I assume so, what's left of the dock. So as we uh, move out, we notice all the seagulls 
Coomerons are all out on the water. So she's, this used to be the walkway. Fuel oil, probably oil, kerosene maybe, for the, uh, for the lighthouse. There's mosquitoes out here, I can tell you that. Man, crazy birds. I'm using my COVID face mask now because of the snow. <laughs> Let's keep the bugs out of my mouth. They are crazy here. Here's what's left of the uh, keeper's quarters. Used to come through here. Look at all the bugs. In the spring, that's what they do. They're born, they cover lighthouses and everything else. They make out, they create babies, and then they die. Look at the old sink. Nice. Cast iron. So this used to be the keeper's quarters. I don't know if they went to the generator house or what. Pretty small island for sure. The vegetation's died, I think, because of the birds. Water pipes, probably. Parts of the chimney. So they just raised all the buildings, but they uh, thankfully left the structure intact. So that's good. There's the mainland out there, if you can see it. Over here was the, uh, I think, the signal building. According to the pictures, the seagulls are getting pretty darn close. <laughs> Some machinery was left in here. It is literally <laughs> teeming with these bugs. They are insane. <laughs> They're not biting. But uh, they are definitely annoying. The whole lighthouse is covered with them. It's quite a phenomenon. So, uh, <laughs> as much as I... <coughs> I swallowed a bird. <sighs> as much as I'd like to stay, it's pretty crazy out here with the bugs. We gotta get away from the nesting area. That's just not cool. I'm not sure what that's for. If anybody knows, I'd be interested to know. Is it like a septic system or what? Well, they're nesting, so it's probably better if we just get out of here. So there you are. Gila Galay. A little tiny spit of gravel. Out in the middle of Lake Michigan. Population. I don't know. 4,000? <laughs> they are just everywhere. Crazy birds. Look at the size of them puppies.
So yeah, now we're leaving the island and uh, there ain't many bugs. It's like uh, they were actually waiting for a ride out here. Oh, they're not, uh, they're not really gathered. Beautiful bottom. Isn't that nice? Hey, does anybody remember how to get back? It's like over there somewhere. It's a pretty big shore. I can, I can kind of read a chart, I think. So, we'll, we'll just keep driving around aimlessly until we find a port, I guess. So there you go, Ilo Gule. It's been there well over 100 years. 140, 150 years. And uh, so the keeper's quarters used to come off this end. And then uh, the machinery, the, the signal house, the fog house, fog signal house on that side. So now we're going to head back to Cross Village, which is over there somewhere. I'm not terribly sure where, but I got a chart, so we'll figure it out. And a compass. So, yeah, pretty fun. Hey. If you like this kind of stuff subscribe on the uh, youtube channel restless viking we got a lot more coming this is our first uh, little foray after the uh after the covid thing and the stay at home order in michigan so we did our our due diligence and stayed home until gatherings were opened up but i think that gathering there was a little more a little more than 10. skilligally island so it gets really shallow here again lots of pebbles Ila Gule means Island of Pebbles, Isle of Pebbles in French, and that's considered an islet, a small island, a tiny island, kind of like Pluto is a dwarf planet. It's not really an island. We're out of here. Well, uh, we are done with our little adventure. Got the Zodiac back home. We got the Jeep in the water. So we call a self-driving Jeep. It's the newest in technology. Just drives itself. Hey, check your boat. <laughs>